Hey everyone, I wanted to share some footage and photos of my first trip to the Udvar Hazy Center of the National Air and Space Museum. I'll be in that area quite a bit uh, in the next couple of years, so I imagine I'll be coming back to Udvar many times. This particular trip was my first time there, and I only had a limited amount of time, so I didn't get pictures of everything, but I figured I would share what I did get and just have it up here so I can look back and remember my first trip. I had tickets for 1030 and you can see there was a lot of people waiting to get in when the museum opened at 10. I believe this was the second week Udvar was open after the pandemic so there was a lot of people really excited to get in. And we can see there's some construction going on on some of the roof and in some of the pictures later on you'll see that that side of the museum is currently closed and a lot of the airplanes are covered. So I'm going to keep commentary to a very minimum just to have you guys enjoy some of these airplanes, some of the footage, and give you an idea what types of things are in this museum. And I urge you, if you've never been to Udvar and you're in the area near Dulles, then please, I would say, take an hour or two and give it a visit. It's interesting to see a lot of these World War I planes, and as a RC modeler, you've seen these models all the time, and you really have no idea about scale, how, I was gonna say how big these are, but in reality, you don't realize how small these World War I airplanes are, and it's really neat to see them up close. For all you Extreme Flight RC fans, you'll recognize that this looks remarkably like the Legacy Aviation Muscle Coupe, so this was really neat to see hanging from the ceiling. In the background you can see this is the part of the roof they're repairing you can see a lot of the planes there especially the virgin plane uh, covered for construction purposes so that part is closed currently and excited to go back when it's open
These next few shots are of the restoration bay. And while you can't go down on the floor, you're you're up on the second floor looking out through a window and you can see all of the restoration that they're doing on a lot of the planes. So that was really cool to see Sean Tucker's pits, Oracle pits that we've all seen before. That's getting redone to be put on display. This is a neat shot of seeing, it looks like they're doing some balancing and just really cool to see these guys actually working. Not only are you seeing what's what they're working on, but these guys were and they're actively working on some of their some of their planes. And here is the really cool surprise. This is a life size X Wing that was donated from LucasArts and it's going to be on display so right now it's in the bay and this is some really cool shots to see people working walking around and checking it out and cleaning it up and making sure there's there's the real kind of art damage and then there's the, any damage that was done in transport before it actually goes on display so this is really cool to see can't wait to go back when this is officially on display hanging from the ceiling And of course, Space Shuttle Discovery. Now, I'm an aviation nut, obviously, and I obviously love the Space Shuttle, but this is a really cool moment. If you've never seen a Space Shuttle in person, I had no idea how huge the Space Shuttle is. And so, if anything, this is the reason to go to Udvar, to see and walk right up next to Space Shuttle Discovery. This thing is huge. I, I had no idea how big it is, and it's really cool to walk up, get very close to, so enjoy some of these shots. Looking here, we're basically looking at the entrance and to the left is the area of the museum that I really didn't get to look through. And obviously you see that Corsair hanging above the Blackbird. I want to get a lot of more pictures of the Corsair, obviously, and everything behind the Blackbird in this shot right here. So next time I'm back, I'll have some more pictures, but the Blackbird is front and center and it's really neat to see. And we're going to end up with this one kind of far shot of Discovery. And there's some people walking. And I did this to show the scale, how big this is. And the other thing I wanted to point out, if you look to the left of the nose, you'll see a TV and there's a guy talking. And there's like three or four teenage girls there. These are the virtual uh, tour assistants. And they you don't realize they're there. And you walk by this TV and they say, hey, you in the, in the green shirt. And they talk to you all about what's going on. So that's a really cool thing, uh, bringing a new meet. Uh, bringing a new meeting to a virtual tour guide. So guys, hope you enjoyed this footage. We'll be back next time I go. I'm always going to be taking pictures and videos and we'll see the rest of the museum next time.